Now that Russia has invaded Ukraine, we wanted to know how those with local ties to the country are holding up and what it's like as the Russian army moves into their neighborhoods. Local 12's Christian Hauser is here to share what they are seeing and hearing. Christian. Yeah, Paul, these people hope to raise awareness about the tragic situation unfolding in Ukraine. They feel that's the only way to try and stop Russian President Vladimir Putin from taking over the entire country. Ivanka Neighbor is a Ukrainian doctor who's part of a research program at UC. She got a phone call at midnight about the invasion. And say uh, we hear, uh, you know, the noise, like somebody's attack, not somebody's, but Russians attack uh, Kiev right now, you know, because all of my family in Kiev in my hometown. She's been up ever since and doesn't know what to do to help since she's half a world away. Being there with your family, I feel that, you know, you you like you can be with them and you can do some kind of decision. And now you are you couldn't do anything because, you know, you, you're not with them and you're trying to help, but you couldn't help at all. Her family's in a shelter right now, but experts say Kiev could fall within days even hours. How worried is your family for their safety right now? They are not safe. My uh, friends, my family, everyone like I know in Ukraine, especially in Kiev and any, like in any other cities, they are not safe now. Meanwhile, Bob Herring, president of the Cincinnati Kharkiv Sister City Partnership, has been receiving emails since the attack began. Indicating that bombs had been heard on the outside of the city, explosions had taken place. Uh, they were advised to remain calm, not to panic. What's it like to, to read this, to see, kind of get a play-by-play -play of what they're going through? Well, it's incredibly difficult. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate enough to walk those streets, to, to visit them in their homes, to be in the public spaces and to imagine that air raid sirens are going off. Tough, really tough. Are they worried that, that civilians could, could get caught up in this? Well, I'm sure they are, but uh, the public face they've presented is one of optimism, you know, that um, we will prevail. While Ukraine and its people are trying to remain calm and put forth that positive face, everyone that I've talked with says the unspoken feeling is without help from the West. It's only a matter of time before Russia gains complete control of Ukraine. And we'll continue to stay in touch with them as the situation continues. Paula, back to you. Thank you, Christian. We stay with Local 12 News on the air and online for continuing coverage of Russia's attack on Ukraine. The CBS Evening News will have more coverage from our nation's capital.